Uh, what do you think about where Bitcoin interfaces with the rest of the financial network, specifically in the form of ETFs and things like that? Right now, there's one ETF out there. There was predicted to be more. It's trading at a significant premium, meaning, but more ETFs aren't coming into existence with Bitcoin. Yes. So what's happening with the interface between Bitcoin and the traditional financial system, and why are there not more ETFs? There's only one at the moment that has come into existence. I'm assuming you mean GBTC, mm -hmm. um, and is trading at a significant premium. And what happens? Why haven't there been more? Um, well, it's because Bitcoin is sufficiently alien that it can't be swallowed by the traditional financial system. They really have no idea how to handle it. Uh, it doesn't conform to any of the expectations. The entire financial system is an edifice of counteracting controls, counterparties, risk management layers, um, and checks and balances, all of which assume custody and oversight and control, of which Bitcoin expresses none. So, how do you take something that is this alien and put it in this type of environment? This is exactly like asking. It's the early uh, 1900s, and the automobile is out. Why are not more Pony Express routes being replaced by automobiles? There's no roads. And they've built a series of stations that have lots of hay, which can't be used for the automobile. So everything they have doesn't work with what is new. And that is basically the issue. Bitcoin is quite capable of having an ETF. ETFs are quite incapable of encompassing Bitcoin into the current regulatory system at the moment. They're finding it very difficult to swallow. And that is a feature, not a bug. I hope they choke on it. <laughs>